So apparently, look at my journal. I must go to all the tribe Ashkans, but my friend Sumultul should be the first and easiest to persuade. He hasn't already friggin' done it. You wish to be called Nerevering. I know you and am disposed to do so. But first, we must speak of need and duty. Okay, speak about need. The curse of Dagothar in the sixth house threatens our land. The false gods lie and offer false hope of protection. You bear the moon and star of Nerevar. Azura's hand is upon you. Okay, so... <laughs> Whatever, dude. What's my duty? You should be in the reverie of all tribes and hold the tour of all the great houses. Eat the sin of the unmourned house and free the false gods. Defeat the sixth house and dig out there. Okay, so... Before my hearth and kin and before the people of the wastes, I name you Ushirlaku Nereverin. Ushirlaku Nereverin, war leader of the Ushirlaku. Protect the people. He's giving us the teeth. Thanks. So anyway, you are the Nereverin, yes. It's the first time I've ever done that. I fulfilled the fifth trial. Okay, great. The full title of the prophecy is Seven Visions of Seven Trials of the Incarnate. Oh, he honors blood of the tribe unmourned. He eats their sin and is reborn. His mercy frees the cursed false gods, binds the broken, redeems the mad. Okay, so give me, what about the next thing? What about the sixth trial? I was blind, but Azra's star has guided me through my dreams. Vivek's high priest, Saryani, has asked to see you when you are Hortator and Irreverine. Go to him and demand to speak with the false god Vivek. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he'll really be happy that I'm calling him that. Vivek has tried to keep Kagranak's tools secret, but you will need these tools when you stand before Dagothar. Get Kagranak's tools from Vivek. They are the keys to the riddle of the sixth and seventh trials. Uh. So I guess I'm just going to Vivek? Am I wearing an amulet now? I don't think so. We could put that on. Oh, the Thong of Zainab is an amulet. It seems. How may I help you, citizen? Not talking to you. Did you want to meet the Arch Cannon? Yep. Is in his private quarters. Avoid confrontations with the Ordinaires at all costs. If the blood of faithful servants of the Temple is spilled, it will make a reconciliation all that much more difficult? Um, well, we sort of uh, killed probably 50 ordinators in Aldeidroth. Is that going to be a problem? Where's his private quarters? The southern half of the East Chapel of the High Fane. Oh, he doesn't trust us, yep. Oh, so I gotta go around the back. The ordinators don't seem too upset with me. I mean, I'm not gonna try and talk to him, but... Shoot. Um... It's pair gold. Three blessings, sir. Okay, so if we go through the Hall of Wisdom, they're perfect. No one can see us. All right, buddy. Thank you for coming. You know the temple's doctrine on the Nereverine. Perhaps it's time to change that doctrine. Mm. We have reached a crisis with Dagothur. Is there any way to not be associated with Imperial Intelligence? Is there any way to do this without, like, becoming a blade or whatever? Yes, let's meet with Vivek. Here are two keys, one to the private back entrance to my quarters, the other to a locked entrance to Lord Vivek's palace. Vivek doesn't want me to keep was want me to keep him waiting. I got something for Vivek right here. 
think he's uh, resistant to ice, but... Whoa, 100 gold for a blessing? Wow, jeez. Look at him. There he is. Hey, pal. Never actually been here. Never actually talked to Vivek himself. Look at him. What a manlet. What a midget. Look at this tiny guy thinking he's gonna say something to us. Dork. Anyth anything good in this room? Yep. I expected you. We have business. When I was young like Lou, I... <sighs> Like you, I was very impatient, so I will keep our business short. Then later, there may be time for other things. First, I propose to remove my curse upon the Nereverine, and the persecution of the dissident priests have proclaimed to all of Morrowind that Billiam K. Jr. is the incarnate and Nereverine, prophesied savior of Morrowind, and the last hope to withstand the menace of Dagoth in the Sixth House. These things I'll do whether you wish or not. You know what? I was gonna sort of say, man, I, I like uh, being harassed and attacked and being accused of things, but I mean, you're Vivek, there's not really anything I can do, huh? I propose to surrender to you the power and responsibility of defeating Dagother. He's scared, he's running scared, he can't do it, but he thinks we can. You may choose to refuse, I will not compel you. You will receive the power as a gift in the form of an artifact called a Wraith Guard. You may accept the gift, then do with it as you will. You will receive the responsibility as an oath. You may give your oath, then keep it or break it as you like. I'll, I'll accept Wraithguard, sure. Oh, sensible. Why would I Why would I say no to this gift? Will you give your oath before all gods and men, before all spirits visible and invisible, before my honor and your honor, to dedicate yourself and Wraithguard to the defeat and destruction of dagoth -er? I guess I'll swear. Not very sensible. <laughs> but very good. Didn't I say yes, I would? Or at least I was hoping for someone who would have no hesitations about making such an oath. Oh, what? He's taking us out of time so we can learn how to use Wraithguard. There's a brief sensation of motion in total darkness, floating but without a sense of weight or direction. Be over before you know it. Now, I will notify the temple that you are our champion. Hey! Nice! Maybe the temple will, uh, like me now. There shall be no more persecution of the dissident priests, and I hope both sides shall swiftly be reconciled. Why, why, why would you, why? We have time for questions, if you like. Maybe, may, or you may leave, as you wish. There are at least two things you ought to know before you leave. How to use Wraithguard, and how to defeat dagoth -er. Didn't you just teach me how to use Wraithguard? To defeat dagoth -er, go to Red Mountain to recover the artifact Hammer Sunder from Gate Citadel Veminal. Then rec- then recover the artifact blade Keening from Gate Citadel or Drosol. Then proceed with Wraithguard, Sunder, and Keening. The Citadel of Dagother. Within the Citadel, find the Heart of Lorcan. Use the three artifacts to sever Dagother's connection to the Heart, and he'll be destroyed in the Blight and in a Morrowind. I didn't know he, uh... Oh, plan to defeat Dagother. Nice. He's already thought this out. I ask him about Dagother's plans, he says, We know nothing for sure, and then he gives me Dagother's plans. It's been added to my inventory. His power. He's able to send his mind into the dreams of susceptible victims across a vast distance. The victims are either swayed by his compulsions or driven mad. Dagoth Ur in the highest ranks can control the distorted manifestations of their flesh. Lower ranks lose control of their bodies and become mindless corpus monsters. Hmm. I did not know that. Heart whites and cunning sorcerers of old. Hmm. These creatures appear to die, but always are revived at the heart. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how many times I have to kill them before they give up. Uh, plan for retreat and replenishment. Quest for artifacts of power. Yeah. Well, we've got Vivek's uh, blessing. Let's see. Let's let's see uh, if this guy will give us any quests. Hmm. I wonder... 
I wonder what would be better. We're supposed to quest for artifacts of power. Hmm. Huh. Oh, hidden door. This is part of a quest. But whatever. Wonderful talk to us. You won't escape me that easily. What are you doing here? Those expletive kicked me out of the Legion and for what? Idiots, all of them. I'm surprised the fools even knew I was gone. But it's mine now, and that's how it will stay, and you'll tell no one. That's some good stuff. Let me see. Come on, Furious. Armor rating 160? What's... 133 is the savior's hide. That resist magic's a good... That's a good effect. I'm gonna take the Lord's Mail, because I, you know... I'm gonna take it. But... Yeah. I'm not, probably not gonna wear it. I wonder what's up here? Oh, no. I think the Lord's Mail is the best heavy armor in the game. But I've got... Oh. Oh. Shoot. How am I supposed to get out of here? I think we've accrued enough resources now, though. We're not gonna go to Red Mountain just yet. Let's get an exquisite amulet. Golden Saint Soul. Restore health. On self. Oh. Constant effect. It's gotta be that. Oh well. Restore health four to five points. Restore health four to five points. Constant effect. I don't think there's anything else we can put on this. Yeah, no. Okay, <laughs> we'll buy that. And then she's got all of our gold. So we'll sell this. There we go, let's try that. There we go, get a little more bang for our buck. Let's see if we can max sale like this. Yeah, nice, we got all of our money back. We didn't even sell all of our weapons. Restore fatigue on self, 120 points. A second. We're buying that too. There we go. Merchantile skill is only nine, but still. Let's take off Moon and Star and put on our exquisite ring. Let's also put on our exquisite amulet. So, look at this now. No matter how much we jump, that's not gonna go down. <laughs> We can literally jump everywhere. It's going to be nearly impossible to get this to go down. It's restoring 24 points a second. So... Oh, also we're being healed constantly. So... Yeah, I don't know how we're going to die. We can get hit with something really hard. Fudge. Anyway. Look at how fast that's healing. <laughs> so, that's what we've been saving all of our weapons for, to do that. And we didn't lose any money. But we need that much money to be able to do stuff like that. I like this shield, and I think it's the best shield in the game armor-wise, but I think... Let's see what we can do. Restore six points of health a second if we have this Daedric shield. So that'll be ten points a second with our ring. So let's... Let's check something out, actually. 
There should be all sorts of monsters over here. I don't want this guy. Okay, so it looks like it is possible to get killed still. Uh... No, please. <laughs> uh, but look how fast our health is regenerating. Yeah, definitely still possible to get killed, though. But it shouldn't be as scary for us. It's this. Ah. Oh. It's hunger. That thing's a pain. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we're not invincible, but uh, we are pretty strong. So our armor rating did go down a little bit. Because of this shield. The armor rating for the other shield is actually, I think, a lot better. Elidon's ward. I'm very happy to Let me save that, though. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 